previous video of tutorial was about desklets. So right mouse click add desklet. Desklets are something specific in Cinnamon and we have also applets. So this time I'm not going to do these applets but I'm going to remove them so you see what's new. So these things are applets, uh, sorry, desklets and we're going to check out on applets now. That's the tutorial, the video. We have here this installed applet. What's the difference between an applet and a desklet? A desklet is on your desktop and an applet is here. There is already one installed. So it's cloudy today, 0 to 2 degrees, wind chill minus 2, temperature 1 degree. So it's snowy. Okay, how did I install it? Let's remove it. Let's remove it. So that is removed and let's re remove it really completely, uninstall it. So it's in here. We get this pop-up uh, window and it says do you want to uh, update the cache and I did. So you get this uh, list of all, all applets that you have and a lot of applets, even the tour button I see here down here, local IPs. So scroll all the way up. What we usually do is of course go from top to bottom because this has received 45 stars. So how do we proceed? This is the download button, install. You go to the manage folder or the map or this one and then weather and tell them to add weather. It's now down here, but then it doesn't know what to happen. So click to open it says, and then you say, see something very strange. Or you go here, or you click here with the right mouse click, configure, and then you get this information. How do you proceed now? You need to get your WOEID. Okay, so you click on it and let's see where we end up because this is a strange thing. Okay. Let's do something completely different. I am thinking, I am thinking like so. Let's go to Firefox as a, my preferred application. Let's see what happens then. Voila. There's something wrong with my Vivaldi. I thought as much. So we have here this RUAD lookup. Okay, fine. Uh, let's assume we, in the last tutorial, we did New York. Let's now go to the other side of the world, Tokyo. Down here, we'll see, oh yeah, Tokyo is written like that. Uh -huh. Let's see if we have, oh. <laughs> does that exist? Oh yeah. Greater London, <laughs> yo, <laughs> strange, Tokyo, okay, what do we get then, the same thing, so I don't know what the difference is between both of them, anyway, control C, get rid of it, put it in here, and see that it's mostly cloudy, it's even in Tokyo, the same temperature as here in Belgium, as it was in New York, strange, all on the same line. So here we have our weather forecast. This is the information we get. You see, we can uh, configure much more, show high temperature first in forecast, all these settings, virtual orientation. This is going to look like that. No much difference, I guess. No, display time and date. and so on and so on. So here again we have a lot of information we can change. But now this time it's an applet. So this thing is there just waiting for to be clicked. Um, downloads. Oh yeah, maybe we should first check out what we do have already. We do. These are the things that are installed. So if if there is a Bluetooth, but we're in a virtual machine, then you'll have an, uh, an icon as well. If, 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 and that's a big if, so it's not there. A calendar, X render, monitor, control, applet, expo, inhabit, inhibit, keyboard, menu. So that's our menu, that's this one, that all applets down here. Network manager, notifications, on-screen keyboard, if you want to. 
um, movable tiles, scaling stuff, separator. So a lot of things that are just okay. I mean, the fun starts here in downloads. What's this? Window list with app grouping and thumbnails. Okay, never done it, never installed it. Click on it, manage, go up here, click on it, plus what happens? We have here this thing. Is that thing? So that's not it. Let's kill this weather thing. Minus. So what did we add? Use a custom width for app buttons. So now we have this ice thing there. And now it's gone. Okay. Smart. Group apps. Super space. Super space. Okay, something happens when I press super space. We see this thing. Alright. Like I said, never install it. So it always takes some time to figure out what does this thing do. Uh, we have thumbnails as well. Context menu. Right mouse click. Icing task manager. Theming. All the information, and I don't know, and, and I'm not uh, smarter, I don't know what it does. <coughs> Icing Task Manager. Well, still a, lot of, uh, still a lot to learn. The only thing I did figure out is the thumbnails, that they actually do work like they used to in the Vista and stuff like that. So when you move over it, you see a little bit what's in there. Okay, I'll leave you to discover all that yourself. Send a menu with look of Windows 7 start menu. Boo. That's gonna be a strange look. Multi-core system monitor. That's something more like me. So let's see how many cores we have. Plus. Okay, that's that's more like, like it. That's something I would like. All the information, the memory. And this time we do see. No, I don't think we see our Ethernet. EPM or 063 probably may be correct. Remember, we're still on virtual machine. What did he name my thing? Yeah, it's correct. It's correct. ENPOS3. Yep, yeah, that's the correct number. And we're not downloading, it seems. Can I change stuff? Preferences. I can change the CPU, the labels. Okay, refresh rate, the colors, background colors, CPU, one, two, three, four, all in white. If we want to have one in red, we can have so. Voila, there it goes. Memory, all kind of colors if I want to. Network, I can make it a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Disk in and out. Read and write. So this information can be changed. Looks good. Looks good. It can stay. CPU temperature indicator will not work with a virtual machine. So no time to check that out. Sticky notes if you want to have sticky notes on your uh, desktop. Download and upload. That's one thing that interests me. If you're torrenting your latest Arch ISO. You want to know what's up. Let's get rid of that one. Minus. So this one is here. Install it. It's this little icon. Going up, going down. Configuring it. Speed per second in bytes and bits. Decimal places. Custom date. Okay. That's that. 
I did see something else, network interface. So I want to see that one, for instance. Uh, now we see some numbers. GUI, compact large. How about large? That's something to keep in mind as well. It looks nice. If you like to record your um, your what you're you doing, I do this with simple screen recorder, but it seems we have here also this one, screenshot plus record desktop, which gives us this little button, screenshot, selected area, will screen, record, record screencast. Just wondering what it's doing it with. So with audio, okay. And the question is of course, why and how, and how to stop this thing as well. Okay. If I'm recording now, how do I stop the recording? Great question, indeed. Record screenshots. Stop recording, I guess. Okay, recording stopped. What did we do? Video. Control H. Video, video, video. Indeed, something has been recorded. Can we show it or not? How big is this? Uh, no, it's not been recorded. 649.9 KB, nothing recorded. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. You spoke too soon, Eric. This is my video. It's working all right. So. If we open it with VLC, yeah, let's do it like that. Then stop it. Go to the tools, media information. One of the exam questions is go to the codec and take a look. So H.264, MPEG-4, and it uses the Forbes audio. All right. Okay. Taking a picture couldn't be easier probably, just screenshot, take screenshot, save screenshot, done. Okay, <clears throat> it works fine, let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of some of these things. Remember we're in a virtual machine, so this is to be deleted. World clock things, send a menu, flexible menu, providing formatting options, web bookmarks, open window. Okay, printer stuff, indicator if it's on or not. Cheap paste, reloaded, GitHub Explorer. Mm -hmm. Cheat sheets, system monitor, restart cinnamon. I've used this one for quite a time in Linux Mint. So if you change something in themes, you want to see it straight away the effect. And if you do this one, you don't have to log off, log on again. You just restart Cinnamon and then you can see the little changes you've made in the code, in the CSS coding or the theming, if it works. That's an interesting one. Color picker is RG pick. Um, Redshift is interesting, but it's already installed. Redshift is here. So we have it here as well. I wonder if it needs this application to be able to work, to function. Bulgarian radio and TV streams, okay. And a little program to do. Wondering if it syncs with our regular program that's on our smartphone. That's a good question. Is it communicating or not? This is a short item, so it is. Uh -huh. Failed. Okay, configure. Here, edit. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it failed. So, minus uninstall. Yes, download. And then you go check out even a radio that we can use. Shut down. I remember this one from the past, the same name on Linux Mint, 
settings plus and that's uh, also for theming software synaptic min software uh -huh. that's not gonna work guys let's have a look what happens here on arch nothing obviously so okay so synaptic is not for us either I have to remove I'm wondering if this will work yeah that will work so if you're going to theme your cinnamon you should take this one restart cinnamon and everything is going to be reloaded again and your CSS code is changed so these are these uh, little tools to avoid log off log on and all that and I used in a very f f uh, long time ago four squids also interesting click on the apple to launch x skill but x skill is already there it's super escape super escape is this that thing the cursor changed here now and i can't stop it so escape doesn't work to you really need to kill something uh, you could also kill the desktop and it reloads nemo so we were here in control m applets downloads and we're going down let's go all the way down and then back up screen locker local ips crypto coin system monitor maybe some stocks two clicks logouts gmail notifier maybe sports update GPU the temperature, who knows? SSH launcher IP and then in the indicator load and pass some that's the for the web design guys who just make Ipsum Lorem in the website. Just Google it, Ipsum Lorem. As you can see, <clears throat> a lot of things here we stopped. A lot of things we can uh, take a look at, stuff to test out. If it doesn't work, then it's maybe because it's not on Cinnamon, on Linux Mint Debian. So we saw a few of the links uh, that it was not working. Obviously, if we're on Arch, some of the things will not work and some of the things will work. So it's up to you to, to figure out what works and what doesn't work. That's a nice one. So control, sorry, Alt F and it's in favorites now. That concludes our tutorial about applets. All right, have fun.